Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to get stronger right now. Science-based, I'll see you in a minute. There you are, welcome back guys. Ryan Weber Training, I am your host, Ryan Weber. Now today, this is gonna be a very quick, simple, short video. I'm gonna get right to the point. People ask me all the time, Ryan, how can I increase my performance in the gym? How can I do it naturally? Well, there is one simple thing, one simple mistake that we all make, myself included, and I'm gonna tell you what that mistake is, I'm gonna show you how to correct it, I'm gonna show you how to test it, and then you guys can actually go ahead and try this at home, try it at the gym. You do need one other person to actually help you test, but I'll show you exactly how it's done. And then you can go ahead and try this out for yourself and make some awesome gains in the gym. Okay, so what is it? The idea is you want to have good spinal alignment. So what does that mean? The spinal cord is really like the core operating system of the body along with the brain. You know, it's where you generate strength, it's where the communication happens, blood flow. If you're out of alignment, if you have back problems, anybody knows somebody with a back problem, this is a really good example, who just isn't as strong anymore and they seem to age a little bit quicker. They complain about the pain a lot. And I'm not judging, I'm not picking on a person like this. Like, you know, back injuries, back problems really, really suck. One of the things that I do every single month is I go to a chiropractor. I go to Code Cairo, Dr. Chad Teague. He is freaking awesome. He's in the Cleveland area, because that's where I'm from. He works on a ton of professional athletes. Uh, Scott Pancheck is one of the top five games athletes in the world for CrossFit. He works on a lot of the Cleveland's Browns players. He's actually uh, flying with Jarvis Landry this weekend. He told me, most likely, to uh, the Pro Bowl, so he can work on him there. And uh, he does things for Reebok. Him and his wife, Mary, are both awesome. Them, and they work on so many different professional athletes at a very high level. They're young, they're professionals themselves, but they get it because they know the body goes under a lot more stress, especially when we're trying to be our best selves. So let me give an example of what I mean by spinal alignment. When you're bench pressing, and I do this too, okay, you're trying to get that last rep. A lot of the times we may struggle. You know, if our feet are on the ground, we lift our feet up, we, we wiggle, and we, we move our head. We're kind of like, ah, you know? We like move our head all around, just struggling, trying to get that weight up, because we think by moving, somehow, some way, it's gonna make us stronger. Well, if you don't have good spinal alignment, and it happens right here, the C-spine, you actually break the power cord, you break your ultimate level of strength, and this is how you can test it to find out. What I want you guys to do when you're at home, have somebody else or at the gym, test this with you. You're gonna put your arm straight out, okay? Straight out, just like this. Look ahead, have somebody come over, and try to bend your arm. They're gonna put their hand here in your bicep, their other hand is gonna be out here on your forearm, and they're just gonna try to push and bend your arm. What you're gonna find when you have really good spinal alignment, it's gonna be really difficult when you're looking straight ahead to push and break that arm. Now, what I want you to do at some point when you're ready is look up. As soon as you look up, if that person is applying pressure here and applying pressure here, your arm will bend. Your arm will bend right there. That power bond is broken. Now, I just did this with my wife before I shot this video because she goes, hey, what are you gonna do the video on? I told her, she goes, well, try it on me. So I did it. And she goes, wait a second, because exactly what I just described to you happened. She goes, let me try this again. So we tried it again. The second time, I could see like she like looked up a little bit, but she's looking at her arm and she was like holding her arm, trying to fight it, trying to fight it, but I still got it to bend. I still got that power bond to break. Can you fight this test to try to disprove it? Sure, you could, but the best way to do this is just to naturally let it happen. Just like this, have somebody push, pull here and push here to break the arm. When you're looking ahead, really hard to do. As soon as you look up or look down, boom, it automatically just bends and it breaks. So think about this when you're bench pressing or you're squatting or you're curling, okay? If you're looking ahead and you're struggling, your natural tendency is to like look, uh, look down or look up, right? What I want you to do is just be really grounded, be rooted in yourself. 
Look forward. Remember, power, 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 power in the C-spine, good spinal alignment, and just work through it. Work through it. You can grunt, you can breathe heavy, do what you got to do, but you're going to be a stronger person that way. More strength equals more optimal performance. It's going to equal better results and better gains in the gym and just your everyday life. It's a really cool tip, a really cool tactic you can employ right now. You don't got to buy anything. You don't got to go anywhere and read up on it. You can just take what I told you in this short video, go to the gym, wherever you work out at, and give it a shot. All right, so I think I pretty much got everything here based on my notes. So a quick recap, what did we learn? We learned that the spinal cord is at the center of all of your strength and the core of your strength. We learned that when you keep good spinal alignment, you're going to be a little bit stronger. We also learned if you break spinal alignment by looking up or looking down, you decrease your strength. We learned there's a way you can test it by putting your arm out in front. Somebody's going to pull on your bicep and push on your forearm to try to break that bond. Very difficult to do when your head's facing forward. And if you look down or look up, if they're still applying pressure, boom, it's going to bend really quick. With that knowledge, you guys are wiser, you're stronger, you're smarter, and you're going to perform that much better in the gym. You guys, if you got value from this video, by all means, please smash that like button. Leave your comments and questions down below. I really want to get some feedback from you guys. Are you liking what I'm talking about? Do you want me to do something different? Um, I keep the videos really simple, you know, no elaborate background, you know, good microphone, good lighting. And I just want to get to the point to give you guys quick things you can do, implement right now without wasting a bunch of time and trying to like, you know, spend hours watching somebody's video where they go on and blab, 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 talk about how great they are, and then you finally get maybe one little piece of wisdom. So definitely some other good channels out there. I appreciate you guys picking and watching mine. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I do videos like this every single week. And if you have any suggestions, by all means, I will entertain your suggestions, ideas. I can talk about whatever you want to talk about. I love this stuff, if you can't tell. And uh, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.